My grandfather was a man that his house was always open. One day he took me out and gave me a nickel and said, um, Boychik, which is Yiddish for young man, and he said, we're gonna go get you some candy. And we started to, to walk out and started to head towards the candy store. And there was a man uh, in a wheelchair with no legs and he had a tin cup with some pencils. Mm -hmm. And um, my grandfather stopped me and said, well, look at that man and what are you going to do? And well, I had my nickel, so I, I, you know, I knew I was gonna get candy. So I, I, I looked at him and I said, what do you mean, Grandpa? He said, well, he needs to eat, he needs to be helped. So I knew what my grandfather really wanted me to do, and of course I wanted to please my grandfather also. So I said, okay, Grandpa, I'll give him the nickel. And we went up to the, to the, to the gentleman um, that, was, that was handicapped, and I put the nickel into his cup. And he looked at me, uh, and then he looked at my grandfather and said, you're really teaching him really how to be a, a great human being. And my grandfather just kind of nodded at it and said, thank you, and use it well and he started to walk away. And I saw a tear coming out of my grandfather's side of his, his face. And I said, Grandpa, I gave the man the nickel, you know, um, you know, why are you crying? And he said to me, he said, those aren't tears of sorrow, but they're tears of joy. And, and he said, because you went ahead and gave that nickel, he says, we're gonna go and get Kim. And that was a lesson he taught me in just giving and, and helping people. Our motto here in the Jewish Renaissance Medical Center and our foundation and our Boys and Girls Club is one people, one heart. We truly want to serve our brothers and sisters out there, no matter what race, what religion, what color you are, it's important that we love our neighbors. So the folks who come in here, are they, are they insured? Or are they not insured? Or they... The people that are coming here are, 66% oh, of our patients are uninsured. Um, we're seeing approximately anywhere this year, because it's brand new, 60,000 mm -hmm. encounters. Next wow. year it'll be 100,000 encounters. 30% um, are Medicaid, and then we have some Medicare, uh, some Medicare and uh, some self-pay and, and some insurance patients. But a big portion of our, our business um, and we serving is the uninsured. If you had this all over to do, would you do this again? Oh, gosh, yes, 100%. Um, Knowing everything that's involved and everything you went through? It's a lot of hard work. But it's my passion in, in, in what I want to do. Uh, it, I was always brought up to, to help your neighbor, love thy neighbor. And what a better way to take care of our people, not only their health, but also their mental well-being. So, so there's never a moment when you say you just wanted to throw in the towel, this was too much. Ab absolutely not. Matter of fact, my days get expanded because I want to make sure everything is, is, is run well. People don't have insurance. They don't have a place to go. And here he had this vision for this medical center. This medical center that now helps thousands and thousands of uninsured um, residents from the city who have, who have so many desperate needs and health issues. Um, we have this, the children. I mean, and, and you see how he interacts even with our children in the city and through the foundation, through the Boys and Girls Club. I mean, this, he is, I would call him Mr. Perth Amboy, and I always kid around, but he actually is Mr. Perth Amboy because he, he just loves this city and he's given back so much. Hey, Mai, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay. How's everything? Good. The Jewish Renaissance uh, Medical Center is truly excited and honored and privileged to have the First Lady from the Republic of Georgia here. She really, by profession, is a nurse and she goes to the hospitals uh, once a week to uh, treat and meet the patients that are there. Um, she's here to take a look at our medical center as a model and we are collaborating with her, the Republic of Georgia, to put together uh, a federally qualified health care center, what we call a community health center in the Republic of Georgia. There are a lot of uninsured people and there is also a lot of uh, problems that, that we have as well with the insurance companies, with the quality control, etc. So I'm sure we can sit around the table and discuss uh, what are what are the points of, uh, of cooperation? Where can we uh, help each other? It was a great honor, it was a great pleasure uh, meeting such a, a, a woman who was so down to earth and so, um, so passionate for her people uh, in, uh, in Georgia to grant access to health care. It's unbelievable the things that have transpired in my life. Uh, I can't believe from, from where we were, from the nickel and from um, um, the, the things that happened in my family to where we are now, 
um, it, it, it's just a great feeling to know that you're touching so many people's lives and, and so many people's hearts. And uh, I can still see that tear coming out of his eye um, um, and, and just uh, of his emotions uh, that I have. So it makes me feel good that, that I'm following in my, my, my grandfather's footsteps and in my father's footsteps in, in giving in, in to, our, uh, to our brothers and sisters.